Welcome. You have to tie on, perfect. This is uh, Rome, right? Yes. Rome is speaking. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. A little, a little bit outside, but uh, mm. in a in a place when when uh, where you you can you can play all the nights or. Uh, uh, in my, the apartment. My, my studio, my big studio. I, I relax in this place with uh, all the band. Uh -huh. We are seventeen people. So it's uh -huh. a big place. Oh, great. So you can play music in the house? Yes, it's, um, every time. Mm -hmm. All the time. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, which age did you start to play, Emanuele? Uh, I, I started to play at the age of five. First, I, I began to, um, to play drums at the age of three, very um, child. Mm -hmm. At clarinet, I started at the age of five, and... Uh, but uh, your hands were too small. Sorry? Your hands were too small for the clarinet. Mm -hmm. Very, very small. It was very, very to start mm -hmm. with uh, this finger, you know, mm -hmm. you know and the bore, of course. But um, it was... Uh, uh, too important to me to to start uh, quickly. Uh -huh. uh, but um, my, my father uh, is is a double bass player. Um, he played with a swing band uh, um, and had had re rehearsals in, in my house. Mm -hmm. So I met I have met uh, wonderful uh, people and especially one uh, one clarinet player. Mm -hmm. Mr. Palma is very uh, influenced my my playing, mm -hmm. and so I uh, I, I fall, fall in love with with the clarinet. Beautiful. Yeah. So I so started to play, to play in, uh, with 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 very small hands. <laughs> anyway, mm -hmm. and. Uh, I, I had the, the first concert at the age of ten. Perfect. But, so you didn't play piccolo clarinet, clarinet in E flat. No, I started. I started, um, started with uh, a, a regular B e flat clarinet. Yes, mm -hmm. with a uh, difficult mm -hmm. of uh, hands, but uh, yeah. step by step. Step by step. And you had some private lessons <clears throat> from a yes, teacher? I, I had uh, private lessons until the age of uh, 11 mm -hmm. uh, with, with an old clarinet player, classical mm -hmm. clarinet player, uh, Miguel Incenso. Uh, it was a very good uh, clarinet player, very good sound. Uh, and at the age of 11, I started to study at the Santa Cecilia Conservatory. Mm -hmm. So I, I left the teacher and started with, with um, another teacher. Um, yeah. And, uh, until, uh, until the end of uh, 2001. Yes, 2001. Mm -hmm. But uh, I. I always play at the classical and jazz, both okay. at the same time. Mm -hmm. um, and the drum set? When, when, when did you start to play drums? At the age of three, uh, without pedals. <laughs> I hope so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to live, to time, to uh -huh. and, But anyway, the, um, The uh, was too strong. Uh, mm. I, 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 I needed to play uh, quickly as a child. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah. So you started playing jazz gigs right away as a teenager? Yes, first, first gig, it was yeah. in a uh, wonderful uh, uh, 
um, jet club, the music team. And, uh, my father played the music team uh, at, at any time uh, with with uh, one American musician, jazz musician like Chet Baker, mm -hmm. uh, uh, Teddy Wilson, um, Billy Higgins, his mm -hmm. So it was a wonder, uh, wonderful place. Small place, uh, like, like a um, mm -hmm. cave, dog, you say, but, but one. Yeah. So it, it, if it, those guys were touring in Italy or in Rome, your father would accompany them like that? I mean. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. It was in the rhythm section. Yeah. Every time. Uh, yes. And Super. Mm -hmm. So I, I started to play with Kim. Uh, two, three times. <laughs> so I was uh, close. But it was a, a very good experience. You know, as a child, you keep your stage with uh, where we play at uh, a lot of, of, of Musician, my idols, mm -hmm. of jazz cool. musician, American jazz musician, mm -hmm. yeah. and, you, and you told me when we did the the sound check um, that you that lockdown is over and you already play again uh, four nights a week. Is that a, a steady gig you have at the club, or how, how is that working for you? Now. Uh, Yes, yes, after lockdown, I, I, I'm playing a lot, three or four for this uh, week. Um, mm -hmm. uh, especially main uh, open space. Okay. And, okay. Uh, a few times in uh, Just Club um, with uh, distanciation. Uh, and, yeah. And, uh, yeah. And those those gigs are with your with your band with your uh, with your uh, Emmanuel Urzo big band. Is that your main baby? No, not unfortunately. Uh, fortunately, no, no, with the big band because uh, we are seventeen people, so mm -hmm. it's difficult to have the distanciation. No? Okay. I play. I have um, a trio with guest or my singer mm -hmm. or uh, trumpet player mm -hmm. and play the sex death, uh with a vibraphone it's uh, like the Penny Goodman sex death, one of my idols and they are small band, small big band uh, we are eight uh, people uh, trumpet, trumpet, mm -hmm. sax, uh, mm -hmm. play some swing uh, and big band. Yeah. Yeah. Not, not with the band. And uh, when did it start with that Benny Goldman? I started with, with uh, to, to, to listen to Goodman music. Mm -hmm. This was uh, at the age of five, six. Mm -hmm. so first, first, um, I listened to the music of my father where we did sex that you know it was mm -hmm. uh, all the television uh, masters together playing uh, Goodman mm -hmm. but w when I listened to Goodman the first time I I felt in love yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. at a very early age like when yes. you're telling you were five years old and you heard clarinet and jazz and you liked it so it was from a very long time yeah, ago that you first were with mm -hmm. small uh, very easy tunes like C Jam Blue to notes, mm -hmm. to notes. and after uh, step by step uh, with more more technical and mm -hmm. until, until now. <laughs> mm -hmm. And uh, did you transcribe those Benny Goodman solos? Or you just uh, yeah, had to yeah. learn to play like that? Yeah. A lot, a lot, but mm -hmm. um, that's that's because I think uh, uh, 
if you want to play with it, like Danny, you have to transcribe a lot of uh, his solos, especially uh, ten or solos of uh, of Danny uh, of Danny same tune and uh, study by memory. And after you can you can try to play your own solo. Okay. Mm -hmm. to, to play like the swing client like like band. So I, I can say transcribe uh, lots of band solos, yes, especially mm -hmm. on after you've gone. Mm -hmm. then, you played with the record together? Sorry? You played with the record? You, ah, you yes, let the music yes. play and you played yes. your transcription with the record and try to assimilate and to to play yeah yes, yes I, I, play, uh, I play very often i played i play now often with the record okay but uh, now uh, if i write transcribe uh, benny solo uh, when i finish i don't need it. Mm -hmm. Because I, I just learned by memory, you know, by memory, mm -hmm. okay. by the air. So I think I think it's a very important exercise to transcribe. Mm -hmm. and did you notice that when you're playing a gig, when you're playing a concert, that intuitively you're going into those transcriptions sometimes, parts of it, when you play a solo of your own? Is that what? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, I am. Then play the Goodman solos because I like so much. I think uh, it's perfect. So I play mm -hmm. um, classical solos mm -hmm. and, some, and sometimes uh, my own. Uh, mm -hmm. So I sometimes play. it's improvised and sometimes it's not so. Sometimes much yes, yes. But mm -hmm. if, if you play something like uh, China Boy after you've gone. I prefer mm -hmm. to play Ben so because the uh, beginnings. I think mm -hmm. the, mm -hmm. like uh, you can see many musicians like uh, in, in uh, Gypsy, you know, like Rosenberg, so no. Mm -hmm. And Mr. Stokelo is uh, very often the Django solos. Right. Uh -huh. So I, I I agree with, with him. Uh, is it? It's not easy. Uh -huh. to be exactly like uh, like. It. Uh -huh. I did. I didn't know. Is is he actually playing note for note? What happened? Played by Django. Yes. Some, sometimes. Sometimes I Another change word. something. Sometimes I change mm -hmm. uh, everything. Mm -hmm. uh, um, it depends on uh, the, uh, the mood. Mm -hmm. If I, I want to improvise, and so. Um, it happens uh, that uh, I, I mainly um, play with my band, but uh, sometimes we had parties and uh, jam sessions, and there I play different things. What I want. Mm -hmm. but <laughs> anyway, the Benny Goodman solos is what I want to play. <laughs> okay. Interesting. Have, yeah. have you and you guys the, play for. Have you studied Goodman solos with clarinet? I I I I have seen something about you. You played uh, to such uh, RMA special. I think you. Uh you yes, I, I I have a Benny Goodman tribute band too. Yeah, it's, uh, mm -hmm. it's called Benny's from Heaven, and um, yeah, we play that that repertoire of that era. This is just one of my projects, and we play. Um, yeah, I, like, wow. I love that music, of course. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow! Wow! Yeah. 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 And uh, can you play for for dancers in Italy? You play when people dance to your kind of music. Is that happening too? Yeah. Yes. No. Uh, I I play for, I play for dancers. I don't mm -hmm. like too much. Okay. But, uh, I I think uh, swing music is dance music, okay, but it's um, and, um, 
music for uh, also in, in uh, concerts, concerts all. Mm -hmm. And I prefer because uh, the, the people is more is quiet. Mm -hmm. but, uh, prefer this one. Mm -hmm. But uh, especially I played for dancers, especially in Europe. And, uh, mm -hmm. Next time in UK and uh, Lithuania for mm -hmm. big festival for free dance. Mm -hmm. It's fun too, right? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Different kind uh, of energy. You, you, mm -hmm. you have to set the right tempo for the dancers. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Well, uh, sometimes I, 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 I would like to play with very fast tempos. Mm -hmm. uh, very slow. Uh, yeah, and very short, very short solo because they, yeah, yeah, they want to change partners and dance the next song. Yeah, it's more like a job when you're playing dances. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. well, mm -hmm. I prefer the um, big stage, the theaters, uh, theaters, mm -hmm. open space, Carnegie uh, Hall. <laughs> yeah. You, you played already there? <clears throat> no, no, not yet. <laughs> I hope can so. We, can start to make plans. <coughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. For sure. I, huh? It is one of my dreams. See? But they stay in Italy and mm -hmm. it's more difficult. Mm -hmm. but <laughs> yeah. Beautiful. And the, the program changes when you play uh, Benny Goodman. Um, I think that's that's what you're famous for, to, to, for that kind of music, right? That's the, that's the main thing you're doing. That That's it, right? Yes, yes, mm -hmm. absolutely. The, mm -hmm. I, I, I'm, I'm you seen on the King of Swing. No, that's because I, I was born playing in Swing. Mm -hmm. I, I think I, I will die playing Swing. <laughs> And um, I'm, I pl I play uh, same tunes, not 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 the same, but I I change tunes. Uh, uh, so sometimes the repertoire is changing. You bring a new song. Yeah, yeah. You... Sometimes it's changed, but uh, you know. If you you if you have uh, arrangements mm -hmm. or the, the instrument sets uh, set, um, charts, okay, mm -hmm. you have to rehearse mm -hmm. to prepare to to to, to with, uh, new 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 tools. So every three months I change uh, something. Mm -hmm. We have to, to rehearse with band. Oh. Uh, first, write music for uh, everybody, and after mm -hmm. rehearse, and after playing for the audience. Okay. Mm -hmm. And do you uh, transcribe that music that you want to play? Uh, like the harmonies are from the records or from the real book, or how do you prepare the music for your band? Do you transcribe the harmonies yeah. from the famous records? Yeah, it's not by the, uh, for the fa famous records. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, me and my brother, my brother is uh, my piano player of my band, mm -hmm. and uh, he's uh, the arranger. Okay. We, we transcribe, uh, we get the music together for um, also for the big band. From from the disc, yeah. okay. But we are we have a good, a very good uh, uh, air, air, okay. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I get um, the Benny Goodman charts very well uh, unreleased by mm -hmm. the, the, his um, daughter Rachel. I had mm -hmm. charts. Um, uh, ruining it. So I, I make a restoration, restoration of, of these charts. Mm -hmm. uh, just it, it, it was the the, the, the only 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 situation. But 
I, I not just try to be this, but by something uh, on paper. Okay. Mm -hmm. But so uh, if we made the restoration of the, these uh, very old charts. So, so if you're looking for old Benny Goodman charts and we don't know where they are, they are in Italy with you, right? If we are looking for Benny Goodman ah, yes, music, yes, yes. Uh, we not, cannot not find the charts. Some, some everything charts, is with you. Some charts, mm -hmm. non all the material. The older material is uh, um, in uh, the Yale University mm -hmm. for uh, students. Yeah. Okay. But uh, there is uh, there are some people with uh, with a, a rifle, gun. I'm sure. You, yeah. You can touch them. <laughs> <laughs> you tried already, huh? No, not yet. But I will try. <laughs> Be careful. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. So, 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 where do you play? All, where do you play all the time? Emanuele, like, like in Rome, one of those jazz, four or five jazz clubs they have there. You play. Um, yes. You, yeah? yes, I, I have. I have uh, um, one main place called uh, Cotton Flat in Rome, mm -hmm. and uh, two other places, small places, um, always in Rome. But uh, I, I, I play when, when the people are up to play. So outside uh, in Rome, outside in Italy, I hope uh -huh. that, um, very soon we can we can we will play in, um, in uh, Japan and China. But now mm -hmm. it's, it's very problem because of travels. You now, sure. Yeah. But you're working on that on your plans for the future. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. But do you play those clubs in Some of the, There are clubs, but uh, the, the, the next year, next year, not before, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. uh, January, February. Mm -hmm. okay. but, but do you play in Rome those uh, bebop club and elegance cafe and all those kind of things? Those? No. I had uh, one time in the elegance cafe. The people uh, know because the uh, uh, few money <laughs> and uh, I, I play Cotton Club is, is my second house. Uh, Gregory Jazz Club. Have you seen Gregory yeah. Jazz Club? Uh, Gregory is there. Mm -hmm. Now is a now is a, a, flo uh, a floating uh, jazz club. Mm. Uh, um, Too much water. River. river. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What? How much water? <laughs> yeah. Uh, but anyway, it's a wonderful club, like uh, New York style mm -hmm. club. Mm -hmm. Good, everywhere, good uh, sound, very good sound. Uh, no microphone, perfect. Good, yeah. mm -hmm. And. Uh... So, so the jazz part of the clarinet you learn by yourself by listening to Benny Goodman, transcribing, imitating, playing, practicing, or uh, did you did you did you study with a with a jazz teacher or with books or how did you learn to play and improvise? Ah uh, no no I I, mean, I I learned by myself listening to a lot of clarinet players. Mm -hmm. Uh, mainly Benny Goodman, but also RP Show. I, mm -hmm. I was, we was my family and me was, was friends of uh, Tony Scott too. And uh, I, uh, I learned listening uh, recordings and uh, because at, at Santa Cecilia, mm -hmm. uh, my teacher. Was he was jazz? He, he told me, no, "Don't play jazz uh, because you will play classical only classical." No, you very close mind, mm. very close mind. But, but you didn't listen to your teacher, Emanuele. 
No, absolutely. <laughs> it was my my luck. <laughs> my. Uh-huh. Yeah. And when you uh, Emanuele, when you play a gig, you you play solo on the clarinet, and then you decide to play a drum solo, or how do you divide your talents on the, on the stage? I have I have I have um, drummer when, when my when I play clarinet, and mm-hmm. uh, after um, the second part of the concert, I, I play my drummer. Okay. <laughs> So it's planned. Okay. You know which which song. Yes, mm-hmm. in the second part of okay. the concert. No, in the last uh, four, or five, two, mm-hmm. two, three tunes. Uh, one uh, with the uh, full solo, and, mm-hmm. and after uh, all together for the final part. So it's really organized. Your concert program is yes, very yes, clear. Yes. Yeah, I think it's very important to have a, a plan, a program, and uh, so you stick yeah, to the set list. Anyway, you can change that program, but mainly it's important to have something like mm-hmm. in the theater, actors, something like this. So I have a problem, yes. Yeah, so it's... I can change uh, every time. Every time. Mm. But you have a, a structure that on this song is a drum solo and on this song it's your clarinet solo. This is everything is prepared. It's not, it's not spontaneous. Uh, Time is, is spontaneous. Um, I first I uh, um, I like to organize everything. Mm-hmm. So structure, uh, solos order, first trumpet, uh, trombone. But mm-hmm. while while we we are playing, uh, we can have a, a take a look of. Okay, start you. No problem. The mm-hmm. start with the sax. After yeah. I my solo, okay, <clears throat> jazz. Mm-hmm. And what about the amount of choruses you're playing? You, you, is it? Uh, do you decide? I'm I'm gonna play two choruses, my solo, or four, or is it open? How long you would like to solo? Uh, yes, I, I I decide first, but maybe change. Okay. But it's not always okay. I so, like so to like, you... organize uh, first because uh, yeah. it's very important if you have uh, a lot of it's very important to have uh, something structure, solid structure. Okay. Sure, sure. But, but, but if you're in a good mood and you're happy, you play 20 minutes solo. And if you're not so no, happy, never, you play never. 20 minutes solo. <laughs> no, never, never 20 minutes. Maybe three minutes. <laughs> three minutes, four minutes. Because uh, I think it's very important to play with for, for um, an audience. Okay? And some people can uh, get. Bored, mm-hmm. listen, yeah. much notes. I, uh, there is uh, important that uh, 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 balance that uh, numbers of uh, chorus in the tune mm-hmm. and uh, this four, five, six minutes one tune. Mm-hmm. Okay, not too long. Mm-hmm. I, I like to, to play, uh, the, the, uh, sing, seeing the people, what happened with the, the, the audience. Okay. For me it's very important, because I think uh, we play mainly for, for the audience. The audience is mm-hmm. very important, because it's uh, buy CDs, tickets, and need uh, to, to, to have fun, to have uh, the maximum respect. Mm-hmm. 
bed. So I, I take a look on the audience. And if I, I see uh, less, Sean, I close the tune. Okay, let's go with the ensemble and let's close the tune. Okay. Mm -hmm. What about the jokes? Are you, are you speaking to the people, introducing musicians, uh, telling stories or jokes? What about that, communicating with the, with the audience? Jokes, uh, okay. okay. Uh, when, when I speak with, with, the, with the audience, okay. Yeah, do you connect also besides the music with talking? Yeah, yes, I like to, to, um, to talk with, with, uh, with the audience for. Uh, I, I want to communicate, and uh, the music is not the only way. I think it's very important to have to entertain, to make uh, happy people with some jokes, uh, and uh, but it's not. This is not uh, <laughs> in, in in a program. It's providing, yes. providing. Perfect. Perfect. So uh, um, I think it, it's very important to to introduce some tools mm -hmm. and to. Have Tell, uh, um, say a, a little story, something. Like Do you have some uh, some Benny Goodman anecdotes you can tell? <laughs> I I <I've, laughs> oh my god! I was, I, I have um, spoken with uh, two two. I, I have played with Bucky Pizzarelli. Uh -huh. He was the Benny Goodman uh, guitar player for uh, over uh, 40 years. Mm. He told now, you some stories. He's, he's dead now. Mm. And I, I, had, I have spoken with, with Hank Jones, mm -hmm. you know, the uh, Jones brothers, Elvin uh, and uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, the first time, uh, um, because the uh, the first time I, I, I met Benny, uh, he was very bad man, not good man. <laughs> so you have the anecdote. We, we were in a, in an in a open place in winter, mm -hmm. and Benny told me, uh, give me your jacket, please. Mm -hmm. So, Hank gives him the jacket. No? And uh, he, he, he called all the night. <laughs> it was like, because Benny um, like to, to to know more about the musician. He's really a uh, Benny lovers, no, not um, some someone that plays for, for morning, mm -hmm. only for morning. Okay. And, um, so one jacket is missing, huh? <laughs> what? So your jacket, jacket is still missing? Yes, yes. <laughs> no, it, it is still missing. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, oh. Benny Goodman is dead in uh, 1996. I was only three, so uh, I I called them. Mm -hmm. so, so you met him in person when you were three or what? Excuse me, I didn't understand. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure if I understood correctly. You met Benny Goodman when you were three years old. No, no, no. Benny, Benny, when I was three, Benny uh, was, was dead. Was dead. Died. So, but but who but what what's that story about the jacket? Whose jacket was it? Hank Jones, the piano oh, Hank Hank Jones. Jones, who oh, played okay. with, with, with Ben. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I've met in uh, in Italy two times. Mm -hmm. was a very funny person. Yeah, very good humor. Uh, Hank Jones, yeah. I told him no, I I met a good man, I know with, with that you played with Benny. Uh, mm -hmm. 
Who? Benny Goodman. Not Benny Goodman. <laughs> Do you have some some stories about um, <clears throat> Tony Scott because he was around still long time? Did you I, meet him uh, or is another character? Yes, yes. I, I told you. I told you. Uh, he, he was a friend of my father, mm -hmm. so I, I had uh, the honor to meet him. To meet him uh, um, several times mm -hmm. and to, uh, to play. With, um, I have a good uh, rest for Tony, and uh, I think the years. Uh, uh, he uh, uh, was a little bit crazy, mad. Yeah, without <laughs> without team, it's not so easy to play. Yes, yes, With... yes, 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 there was a problem. But first, I I I, I think just uh, uh, two three days uh, ago, one wonderful television showing in, in uh, United States. Uh, the subject. Wonderful uh, show with Tony and uh, Ben mm -hmm. Webster, uh, Pete Van, mm -hmm. and many other big musicians, and they mm -hmm. played very, very well. So, mm -hmm. uh, uh, I played for uh, his um, eighty third mm -hmm. in Rome, mm -hmm. and I have some picture with, with him. And, uh, we had a very good um, team, I mean, uh, asking, asking, okay. Very sure of himself. Yes, yes. He, he was a friend, a very good person. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Anyway, a very good friend. And are there uh, any any uh, dreams you have, plans for the future, things that you would like <clears throat> to play, or places that you would like to play, or musicians that you would like to collab collaborate in the future? Something that that you haven't done yet. All all, all the musicians I want to play with with uh, are dead. <laughs> Uh, I think um, I, I I will have to I have to play with uh, mm -hmm. now and Warren Bashir with uh, mm -hmm. uh, Dan Barrett, mm -hmm. but maybe it, it will be possible. It will be possible uh, one day. Mm -hmm. And uh, I have I did to play with my band uh, in college uh, ball and, and, uh, yeah. play. and uh, all around all around the world. Mm -hmm. so next next I hope uh, the next out. year will be will be, will be better for uh, everybody. Mm -hmm. to yeah. Play. Mm -hmm. I hope uh, will be uh, play. Yeah. yeah, I think it's interesting when you have when you have a good band that is warmed up with you, like you have a steady band that is knowing all the arrangements. It's easy to invite invite the guest or a special guest to play when they are in Italy or when you are out of the country. I think this is an <clears throat> interesting concept that you can uh, try to do, like your band featuring whatever guest you would like to have. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. yes. Uh, it, it, it is possible. Because I have uh, a uh, some guys. Uh, I started to to build a band with uh, very young people. Like, mm -hmm. uh, I think it's very important to grow together. And because now it, I think very a, a, a few people uh, know the, the the swing mood, uh, the swing uh, playing, the swing technique, because mm -hmm. it's too far away. Uh, 
We have the young, young people, talent, mm -hmm. with, with five years ago, and mm -hmm. section, and good results, very good uh, quality project. Uh, have you seen something like a uh, clarinet Latino, uh, have you seen, have you seen on, on uh, YouTube? Of your plane? Yes, yes. Yes, I did, yeah. A little bit. Yeah. 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 And uh, yeah. We, we have... We made a very good concept last year, the big stage. So, so we have... Uh, yeah. Those yeah. guys. Oh. Beautiful, yeah. Have your own big band. Perfect. So we, 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 we can play with... Uh, a guest, a guest, uh, important guest, I hope. Mm -hmm. And how is the jazz scene in Italy uh, for you? Can you can you organize concerts in Italy and travel all over uh, from one place to another? Is, is it easy to make a tour in Italy for you? No, not easy in, in this period, it's not easy. Mm. It's more easy in, in Italy, but um, all the countries are, are closed, mm. uh, so we, we can travel uh, very easy. It's not easy. No money. Mm. Problems. So I, it's I easier to it's easier to stay around Rome for you to play yes. around Rome. Yes, mm. easy. I, I think uh, also. You will see it as it is, no? as it counts. Mm -hmm. But uh, I, I have some uh, uh, proposal, uh, proposal uh, artistic proposal by in, in, in uh, China, but it, uh, now it's standby. Sure, we sure. Can, yeah. We can uh, We, we mm -hmm. have to wait. We should wait mm -hmm. uh, months. Uh, I, I think. Yeah. Months. Mm -hmm. And you're um, always made a living by playing gigs, by playing concerts. Yes, yes. Um, sometimes I I, meet, I, I mean, have lessons with two or three three, three students. Mm -hmm. lesson, but okay. uh, I can say proudly, I can say. <laughs> Uh, I'm, I live, uh, I live with, with uh, playing the play, uh, mm -hmm. this Michael is stick. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Like, yeah. More sweet than Michael is. <laughs> and tonight you will play, so? Do, do you think the clarinet is more sweet than uh, like or is stick? Well, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I think so. If you play clarinet, you will love now the vibration on fingers. Yeah, it's yeah. it's wood yeah. and it's yeah, it's the lips hurts. Good. Yeah. Thank you. Do you what, what kind of reeds do you play, Manuela? Are they Italian reeds or you play Vandoren or? No, I play. Now I'm playing. I, I play the my. Uh, I, I'm trying. A, a new brand is uh, Alexander. You know, it, it is French. Uh, French cup. Alexander. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Alexander. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it, they're good. Um, eight uh, in a in, in a packet. Eight reads uh, are good and two less. Mm -hmm. Okay, but I, I have played the Pandoran for uh, years. Mm. Uh, and the clarinet you play? <coughs> you play Buffet or a Patricola or what do you play? No, I, I play Buffet. Um, mm -hmm. uh, full BAM system. Mm -hmm. 
because I like uh, his sounds and uh, mm -hmm. the low notes are full because mm -hmm. the instrument is more longer, mm -hmm. less sound but good um, bass frequencies. Okay? Yeah. And now I, I play with um, an old, an old uh, um, mouthpiece. Uh, Uh, and the uh, key is, is very good with uh, two reads, uh, sides two, because it's very open. Mm -hmm. it, for a uh, live performance, it's uh, loud, uh, loud uh, sound. Mm -hmm. Louder than Tony? No, <laughs> it's impossible. <laughs> it's impossible. But some, some, um, between Benny and Pina Sato. Okay, at least that's the beginning. That's mm -hmm. because uh, it's, it's playing uh, in that club, one thing is the playing of it. It's different with the big band too. So sure. uh, now I, I play with this. Uh, I, I have uh, an old uh, Selmer mouthpiece, the uh, senior to Benny Goldman too. Mm -hmm. Very good uh, opening like uh, B45 Van Doren. Mm -hmm. Very good. And, cool. uh, but, but very high pitch. Mm -hmm. and, uh, now it's hot, so I have to, to make choice to barrel, long barrel, and longer. And a low, mm -hmm. low pitch uh, mouthpiece. Mm -hmm. You play a uh, 440 or 442? Uh, um, in my house, I have two, um, two um, Grand Piano on mm -hmm. uh, uh, 39, 439. 39? But 39, yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, um, now I uh, in, uh, in an open space to time to read the piano is to, uh, set on um, four or forty two. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, so uh, different uh, barrels. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But the the grand piano change better now. Oh. With with, uh, with the sun hot weather it change. Mm -hmm. So now it's 42 in our space uh, in, in, uh, in my house. So I, I use, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. but, but I think the, the sound uh, 49 is it's more plain frequencies. More, okay. You know, it's a uh, it sound. Uh, a physical, a physical and so on, I don't say physical sound, no? So 4-3-9 you prefer, yeah. Yeah, yes, yeah. more mm -hmm. full sound, every instrument, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. Interesting. And um, by the way, do you know uh, Benny's clarinet, or maybe he had, I don't know, you're the expert, uh, his clarinets, they are in the museum or where are they? Benny Goodman's clarinets that he used to play. <clears throat> uh, Benny Goodman is, I think, he played with uh, uh, centered tone clarinet. But they are in a museum yeah. right now, or or you have it? Yes, yes, uh, we we have a wonderful. Uh, um, Museum, uh, very close here. Uh, in uh, that museum, that there is one Benny Goodman uh, clarinet, the Selmer Center at Oh, and yeah. the guys with rifle next to it. Right? Ne guys with rifles no, next to it. Huh? No, the guys. Sorry. Uh, I don't hear guys with that. guys with pistols and rifles to protect it. 
Uh, yes. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Fortunately. Um, yes. Uh, I think uh, one day I, I, will, I, I will steal. <laughs> yeah, good plan. <laughs> Shortly before Carnegie Hall. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. <laughs> No, so, I, so I, I think I think <coughs> I, I can I can uh, offer something to that man. I can try to offer something uh, a wonderful uh, a clarinet buffet. It's four thousand euros mm. value. Something I don't know. Maybe maybe I will make a beautiful business. <laughs> Deal. Uh -huh. right. And uh, uh, I'm sharing your website. You have a website, and people can find out more about uh, your concerts there and maybe recordings. I don't know. I didn't check. Yes, I have. Yeah. I have. I have. I have uh, website www.it. Okay. As a very statistical, uh, statistical uh, site, uh, I I am more active on on the social. Like uh, I have a beautiful uh, uh, artist Facebook page on Facebook. Page, mm -hmm. Facebook page. Okay. Yeah. It's better, yeah. but anyway, if, if you go on on the website, you can find the biography, discography, mm -hmm. uh, video. Cool. Beautiful. Yeah. What well, was a pleasure to talk to you. Thank you very much for, for, for doing the interview with me. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you to you for a wonderful uh, talking. Sorry, uh, ask me about English. <laughs> I, I, I don't practice in this ground country. Uh, sure, not, sure. Not, not speaking but but shortly before Carnegie Hall, you should warm up a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. I, I will do. I will deal. Absolutely. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So okay, I hope I'll see you sometime and uh, hear you hear you play maybe in the future. It would be nice to see you. Okay, uh, we if you want, we will. Write something uh, when you want. No problem. Yeah, but uh, like cool. Okay. Cool. And uh, have the uh, have good luck and good music. Very important. Yeah. Thank you. I will. Okay. Hope to stay in touch with you. Very important. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. No, no doubt. Uh, of course. No problem. Cool. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you very much. Ciao, Manuele. Good evening. Good evening. Ciao, Gary. Ciao.